So the question here is x minus y equals to x plus y by 7 equals to x y by 4. And we'll have to find out the numerical value of x y. So let's take it up x minus y equals to x plus y by 7 equals to x y by 4. Now, trying to substitute the values of x and y in this equation to satisfy these conditions is going to be very, very complex because see, there are multiple things that you'll have to satisfy. You'll have to ensure that the difference of x and y is equal to uh, x plus y by 7 is equal to x into y by 4, right? It may take a lot of time for you to arrive at the values of x and y directly. So instead, what you do is follow the solution. Let us assume all this is equal to k. So what do we get from this? x minus y equals 2k. We can say x plus y equals to 7k. And we can say xy equals to 4k. He's asking us to find out the value of xy. What we'll do here is take uh, x plus y whole square minus uh, x minus y whole square expansion and see what happens, right? So minus x minus y whole square, k square, right? Now expand this. So x squared plus y squared plus 2xy minus of x squared minus y squared plus 2xy. Are you able to follow? x minus y whole square is x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. But because there's a negative sign before the brackets, we get minus x squared minus y squared plus 2xy equals to 7k whole square is 49k squared minus k squared. Now simplify this x square minus x square, y square minus x square gets cancelled. What are we left with? 2xy plus 2xy. So we can say 4xy is equal to 49k square minus k square is 48k square. Yes or no? Now, if you remember, earlier we had obtained that xy is equal to 4k. Substitute that xy equals to 4k in this place. So what do we get? 4 into xy can be taken as 4k equals to 48k square. Now simplify this. So from this k gets cancelled, 4 into 4 is 16, this goes 3 times. So we can say 3k equals to 1. 1 is equal to 3k or we can conclude that k is equal to 1 by 3. That's it. This is what we needed. The value of k, we have got it as 1 by 3. Now substitute it back here. What do we need? xy. So we can say xy is equal to 4 into k, which is 1 by 3. So 4 into 1 by 3 is equal to 4 by 3. And hence your answer for this question would be option 1. All right p equals to 99, then the value of p into p squared plus 3p plus 3 is 999, 9999, 999,999 or 9 lakhs 999,999. So what happens? See, look at this expression here. We have p into p squared plus 3p plus 3. Let us expand. I mean, simplify this. What happens? p into p squared is p cube plus 3p into p is 3p squared plus 3 into p is 3p, right? Now, if you observe, this is actually, uh, you know, let us let us do one thing. Let us add one and subtract one here, right? We have expanded this. We got PQ plus 3P square plus 3P plus 1, uh, 3 plus 3P. We are taking plus 1 and minus 1, right? So we have not changed anything in the equation, just plus 1 and minus 1. And if you look at the first four terms here, PQ plus 3P square plus 3P plus 1, this is what? This is in the form of A plus B whole cube expansion, right? If you see, this is like P plus 1 whole cube. Right, p plus one whole cube expand p cube, then three a square b, so three p square into one three p square, three a b square, so three into p into one square three p, and b cube, one cube is one. You're getting it. So this actually is like p plus one whole cube minus one. Remember this minus one, right? Include that. That's it. P is equal to ninety nine. So ninety nine plus one whole cube minus one. Ninety nine plus one whole cube is hundred cube. Hundred cube would be ten lakhs. Ten lakhs minus one. 9,99,999. Option 4 would be the correct answer. The question here is P equals to 101. Then the value of cube root of, you know, P into P square minus 3P plus 3 minus 1. So let us try and expand this. Well, right? We have got cube root of P into P squared minus 3P plus 3 minus 1. So this can be taken as you know, cube root of, just expand the terms inside this, right, under the root. So p into p square is p cube, p into minus 3p is minus 3p square, p into 3 is plus 3p and minus 1, right? Now, if you look at this expression, p cube minus 3p square plus 3p minus 1, this is nothing but p minus 1 whole cube. So this becomes cube root of p minus 1 whole cube. So what happens? This cube root and cube gets cancelled. What are we left with? p minus 1. 
P is equal to 101 is given here. So 101 minus 1, 100 would be your answer, right? So very simple. Looks to be complex, but a very simple and straightforward question. Uh, root over x plus 4 plus root over x minus 4, whole divided by root over x plus 4 minus of root over x minus 4 equals to 2. Then x is equal to what? Options are given 2.4, 3.2, 4, and 5. So if you really look at this, a very simple question. One equation in one variable is given to us. We are supposed to find out the value of that variable, which is x in this case. Now you can actually simplify this expression, right? Root over x plus 4 plus root over x minus 4, whole divided by root over x plus 4 minus of root over x minus 4 is equal to 2, right? You can do all those, you know, applications that we have discussed in the video, right? Formulae and all those algebraic identities that we have discussed. You can apply them, cross multiplication, component, or dividend, or all that can be done. And to find, you can find the value of x. But a smart student will actually substitute the options back into the question. Just substitute the options one after the other and see which option satisfies. Because there's like one equation, one variable, you're supposed to find the value of x. Just check one after the other. And if you are actually very smart, you will not try with option one and option two because you know like these are like complex ones, right? 2.4 plus 4 is 6.4. Under root 6.4 will be difficult to simplify, right? Remember, under root 6.4 cannot be taken as 0 0.8. Under root 64 is 8, but 6.4 is not 0 0.8. It can be taken as probably 8 by root 10. You're getting it. You have to be very, very careful then. Same is the case with 3.2. 3.2 plus 4 is what? 7.2. Now, root over 7.2 is not a uh, perfect value there, right? I mean, 7.2 7 or 72 for that matter is not a perfect square. So with these two values, first two options, it is going to be a little complex. So let us substitute option 3 first and see what happens. Now, we will not be putting it on paper. Try to do the calculation mentally. In place of x, we have to take 4, right? Substitute this option. So 4 plus 4, 8, root 8. 4 minus 4, 0. This is anyway gone. So root 8 divided by, this is what? 4 plus 4, again root 8, minus 4 minus 4, 0. So basically it is like root 8 plus 0 divided by root 8 minus 0. So root 8 by root 8, root 8 by root 8 is 1. But what is given on the right hand side is 2. Hence option 4 is, option 3 is wrong. Substitute option 4 now. Check what happens. Substitute mentally. Or let me put it here. See what happens. 5 plus 4 plus root over 5 minus 4 divided by 5 plus 4 minus root over 5 minus 4. Check. Is it giving us the uh, same value or not? 5 plus 4 is 9. Root 9 is 3. 5 minus 4 is 1. Root 1 is 1. 3 plus 1. Again, this is 3 and this is 1. In between, we have minus. So 3 plus 1, 4 divided by 3 minus 1, 2. 4 by 2 is equal to 2. Is it matching with what is given in the question? Yes, it is. So option 4 is the right answer. So like you've seen in this case, what is the method? Substitute the options back, right? Substitution. We are not substituting the values randomly. In the previous question, we have been substituting the values randomly. Here, we are substituting the values given in the option to satisfy, to check which option satisfies the given equation. So option four, five with the correct answer.